you're just joining us, good morning. Here are the eight things you need to know today. The president in Portland. With just five days until you cast your ballot, it is the final push for candidates, and some of them are getting major endorsements. WMTW News 8's Morgan Sturdivant is live in Portland, where the president will be rallying for Mike Michaud. Good morning, Morgan. Good morning. That's right. President Obama will be here at the Portland Expo to show his support for Mike Mischow later today. It's just a few weeks after First Lady Michelle Obama and former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton were here showing their support for Mischow. Virtually every poll has Mischow and Governor Neil Page neck and neck with independent Elliot Cutler trailing in a distant third. Just yesterday, Senator Angus King withdrew his support for Cutler and threw his political weight instead behind Mischow. Cutler is acknowledging the reality of the situation, but says he will not back out of the race. And as we mentioned, President Obama will be heading, headlining a rally for Mike Michaud tonight. So Portland officials have advised some traffic advisories. Park Avenue will be closed from Deering Avenue to St. John Street from 3 to 8 p.m. Live in Portland, Morgan Sturdivant, WMTW News 8. Morgan, thank you. Speaking of endorsements, it looks like New Jersey Governor Chris Christie's trips to Maine aren't over just yet. Christie will join the governor in Portland on Monday in a final attempt to sway voters before Tuesday's election. He's already been here once this week. It's going to be Christie's fifth visit of the campaign season. And with the election just five days away now, a reminder that today is the deadline to request those absentee ballots. You can return your ballots to the municipal clerk up until the polls close on Tuesday. Well, a possible legal battle is brewing this morning between the state and the nurse back in Fort Kent from treating Ebola patients in West Africa. State officials are seeking a court order to force Casey Hickox to stay at her home, but she says she will fight back. Hickox stepped outside of her house last night to speak with reporters. State officials are now monitoring her movements. Continuing the eight things that you need to know today, the Obama administration is taking new steps to help thousands of students with school loans, announcing a new rule today. It applies to for profit schools that offer vocational programs. They will have to now show their students um, will be able to pay off loans after graduation. So if a school falls below the requirement, it could lose access to federal student aid programs. And it looks like there may not be a shrimping season for the second year in a row. Scientists researching rising temperatures in the Gulf of Maine are recommending that the season stay closed for another year. Officials with the Fisheries Commission will make a final decision next week. And also breaking this morning, Sweden's new government says it has recognized a Palestinian state. It is now the third country to officially recognize Palestine, joining Malta and Cyprus. Sweden's foreign minister says the move comes based on criteria of international law, saying there is a territory of people and government. And finally, this morning, the San Francisco Giants are World Series champs for the third time in five years. They defeated the Kansas City Royals in Game 7 last night. Giants ace Madison Bumgarner was named World Series MVP after he threw five scoreless innings of relief.